All right, you guys, welcome back to another episode of the Dental Marketing Secrets Podcast. Super excited. I've got Adrian Leffler here with me today. He's the CEO at My Social Practice, and we're going to dive into uh, AI and how we're using AI to help your practice, to help your marketing efforts, to make your life easier, basically, is what we're talking about today. We've got some really cool use cases for you. Um, but Adrian, first off, welcome to the show, man. Thank you. It's nice to be here. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, so excited to have you. And we've been talking a little bit before before the show on on AI, and and you showed me some of the examples that on how you're using AI uh, for for the practices that you work with, and even in personal life, it's super cool. So let's let's start there because I know that's like a big trend right now. You know, people in the industry are, I mean, and people personally too are just kind of messing around with AI, Chat GPT. There's a lot of different different um, AI uh, based technology now. So so how are you using that? Let's start there just with that question. How are you using AI in with the practices that you guys work with? Uh, good question. So, so we have, um, well, in our copywriting department, so we have a team of copywriters that yeah. do write copy, right? And um, about a year ago when ChatGPT came out with version 3.5, they've, they've now released about two or three more versions. They've got 4.0 now. Yeah but 3.5 and we started we started using chat gpt to help us write dental website copy and yeah. then or then blog articles um we integrated chat gpt with our social media we have a social media uh publishing tool that helps mm -hmm. to write captions we integrated it into writing captions so now you don't have to write out your captions for social media oh um, it's just such a it's so difficult right i mean it's the content that takes so much time well, yeah, it's like, it's, it's a little bit odd at first when you use it because it's just a different, it's like a different process. Yeah. But I, I like to tell people that it's easier to delegate. It's easier for me to turn around and tell somebody, Hey, go get this done yeah. rather than doing it. And that's basically what's happening is you, if you understand this, the, the capabilities of the tool you're basically delegating a task to an artificial intelligent agent, right? An yeah. artificial, an AI agent, we'll call them. Mm -hmm. And the, the my my mental process of thinking through something that needs to get done is really really easy to say. Hey, I need you to go do this, 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 and this, rather than writing it down or putting it into a you know organizing things. Yeah. To, and the agent can go get it done. So when it comes to copywriting. It's like, I can tell ChatGPT, write me this email to this person, make it professional, make it this, cover these topics, blah, 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 blah. And that takes 30 seconds. And then I get something that's like 98% of what I want. Yeah. This is writing whatever that thing might be three or four times to get to what, to what I want. So it's just, yeah. it's, like, it's super proficient. We're able to write twice as much, three times as much copy uh, bef than, than before. You know, yeah, so. in the same amount of time. And it's that's what I've found, too, is just it's such a good starting point. You know, it may not be the finished finalized version, but a lot of times it's pretty close, you know, and but you can always add these refinements to it afterwards or or use additional prompts to help them to help help change that message or the format or the tone. Right. And that's what's so cool about it. Yeah, you can revise it and revise it as much as you want. It's really fast. Yeah. So, so, so when you're looking at that for, yeah, let's say you're doing a website, you're you're trying to build out some copy for that. Are, are you giving it a lot of parameters up front? And how does, what does your kind of process look like on that? So what you're talking about is, I think we're getting into what's called prompting. Yeah. So prompting is a, is a, is a, it's a, a skill set. frankly, you're, you're, you're learning how to give direction correctly to an artificial agent, an AI agent. Yeah enables you to get what you want. And that requires a little bit of um, skill set in learning kind of what it needs. I actually wrote an article um, on our blog, maybe a couple, two, three months ago called, um, I can't remember the title, but it's called W, the, the, the model that I suggest is called WAC. WAC, it's called the WAC prompting model. It's WWWAC, which is who are you? Why are you writing this? Let's see. Who, what, why? So, who are you? What are yeah. you writing about? Why are you writing? Who's the audience? And what are the constraints? So it's whack. So if you follow that model, <clears throat> when you actually go to write something, 
you'll get something really, really, really close. And I can, we can jump into chat GPT and I can, I can, we can do a, we can write an email or something. I'll show you how it works, but, or how I, how I, I'm sure you know how it works, but yeah, I can say it like that, but um, I can show you how I do it and give yeah. a good example for the the viewers here to understand how they might be able to prompt correctly. Yeah, because that is that is kind of a uh, there's there's some nuance to it, you know. I mean, I think when you first get into it, you're like, oh, this and this it sounds amazing, and it is amazing, but yeah, you do have to kind of go through that process so that you're able to get the results that you want. If you just kind of sit down and be like, hey, write me an email for patients about this, this, and this, a lot of times, I mean, my experience, it's not always there. It might sound a little too promotional, it might sound a little too formal yeah. or whatever the case may be. And so, yeah, there is some of that, that learning experience, like you said, just to know how and what to share and how to refine that, that message for, yeah. for the AI agent. Yeah. Yeah. So we're using it to just go back to your original question. We're using it obviously for copywriting. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're starting to get a little bit creative though. And some of the other ways that we're using it, we're using it in, a, in, in building, we've built a, a chat agent, yeah. a web chat agent, which will very soon here within the next couple of months be a, a phone answering system. So dentists will be able to turn on their phone system or forward their phone system to an AI agent wow. who frankly will do a better job than a human being. It's it's unbelievable how yeah how it is. Um, so, so now we're talking about like using it in a really solid way as a kind of a use case. Um, we've used it to, we've used other tools that are built on AI platforms to do image generation or video generation. Um, there's audio one that we can we can do a we can make some songs or a song really quick if you want. Let me show you how to do it. But there's yeah. this stuff is moving so fast. There are so many tools coming out literally every day. You cannot keep up with how quick it's moving. Yeah. So um, I I just think that within the next within two to five years from now our interaction with artificial intelligent tools is going to be just satiated. Like we're, we're not going to work without it. Yeah. So there's no reason to resist it. It's, it's super efficient and um, just really, really quite cool. It's really fun. Yeah. Well, and that's, and I think that's, you know, one of the reasons, one of the big benefits to a practice, if I'm a, if I'm a practice owner and I'm thinking, okay, well, I'm starting to see AI all around me. How do I use this? And what's the benefit to me as a practice uh, practice owner, you know, to, to get involved with this, you know? And so I think about, like you were mentioning, it's just so, so efficient. You know, I mean, if you're doing, whether you're doing website content or social media captions, things like that, that can, for a lot of us, just take a lot of time. You know, we're not just natural writers or, or we just don't know what to say or how to say that. This right. gives us a great tool to then, hey, here's our here, let's, a jumping off point to give us some content. Then we can massage it if we need to, or if it's good to go, then we're good to go, you know? And that's, I think that's a bit, one of the biggest things for me is this, especially when you look at it as a, you know, as a practice, we're all, everyone's wearing so many different hats because there's so many responsibilities, things to do on a daily basis. Then when you add in some of the marketing uh, you know, efforts involved. It doesn't, with get, done. <laughs> it doesn't get done. Yeah. Yeah. Forget about it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's that's why we have jobs <laughs> yeah no totally and it's just it's just hard you know i mean it's puts on the it's get on the back burner and then when you get to it you just you're staring at a blank screen for half the time because you don't know what yeah, to say yeah yeah so, and, and it's like in like writing takes creativity and it takes focus you can't have any distractions yeah. and it, it, that's that's literally not available in a dental practice you mm-hmm. know so yeah it's tough yeah. So you're, so you're using it. You've got, you know, website content, like we mentioned, social media content, you've got uh, patient emails and then yeah, soon with this, this chat agent, you know, I mean, it's going to be answering phones and doing live chat. Like it's almost everywhere in the practice. It sounds like, or it could be. Yeah. It's, it, you know, there are, there are a handful of companies that are kind of leading this conversation in the dental industry um, that have different, uh, use cases. So Pearl and Overjet have yeah. created um, AI software that's built on, on oh, I believe they built it on OpenAI's large language model and they evaluate x-rays. So you get an x-ray, patient gets an x-ray, it runs it through 5 million, you know, x-rays similar to it and it spits out within a minute 
a complete like diagnostic kind of analysis of of caries and yeah like cal you know calcium and where yeah we, i mean it just it's like freaking so cool so the dentist <laughs> say, here's what i found i also checked it against you know all this ai blah 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 whatever you want to say it and look you know it's right and that what the use cases in that the case studies that i've seen from pearl um the, the conversion, the case acceptance jumps like 20, 30 percent. Wow. But a dentist uses an AI tool to as a second opinion to justify his or her diagnosis. Right. Yeah. So there's that. There's also um, I know Pearl and I know another company is doing insurance verification mm -hmm. all automated with AI. Wow. Um, that there's another amazing. company I cannot remember the name of but the guys. I think it's a gentleman that owns the company. He's created a little speaker that you can put on your shirt. You record the entire conversation with the, with your patient. It's some like, it's a note taker kind of yeah. like yeah. Seen a, these video call note taker. AI right. Note -taker. Yeah. It'll, it'll, it'll take the entire conversation, squeeze it down to an, uh, you know, a, an, an overview with bullet points and upload it to your patient management system. So there's literally You've no. recorded everything. Yeah, the whole thing's recorded. It's crazy. Oh, man. So, I mean, just like, and this is stuff that's been created like immediately. So as yeah. things become more ubiquitous and this gets more integrated, it's going to get to be to a point where AI is inter interacting on multiple levels with within a dental practice or any kind of a business. So, yeah. Well, and, and one, one, one of the questions that I've had, uh, as I've seen this, this evolution and I've seen it start to yeah get involved in all these different, these different, uh, scenarios is, you know, where does that, you know, some of the questions I have are about SEO, you know, I mean, I've heard Google kind of, they've kind of gone back and forth in terms of, Hey, we appreciate AI generated content or no, we're frowning upon that. What is that? What's the latest on that? As far as that goes, if you're using AI generated content for SEO purposes is that frowned upon or what is that I don't yeah. I don't know what the latest is well right when chat GPT came out um there was there was quite a, a like the the online chatter and the information that I was getting is that Google specifically was going to um mute copy that's been created by AI so it would be like it wouldn't give you a much of an SEO benefit. But after about six months of using the, the actual tool and seeing how good the copy can get if you prompt correctly. So rather than saying, hey, chat GPT, write me an article about the top 10 ways dentists can generate a new patient. Like that would be an article we would write, right? Yeah. Like companies like we go. If you just give it that prompt, it's gonna give you like, like generalized copy. Yeah, um, it might be custom, but it might not be really specific. But as you get good at prompting, and as as people started using uh, ChatGPT to prompt correctly, you can get stuff that's highly, highly creative and extremely valuable. And so there was a there was an announcement, and I think it came out in like it was last fall. It was like November, October, November, December, sometime. I'd have to look it up, but uh, Google basically made an announcement that they would not be muting or or that AI copy would not negatively affect your website because so much copy was being created that was actually written better oh, wow. than a human would do without the tool. So, so we use it. So our own personal experience, like we do a lot of copywriting. We do copywriting guest blog posts we'll write for you know other publications but we also write um on our website and i've been watching this our rankings i mean mm -hmm. watching very closely how our rankings are doing using ai and all of our copywriting and it's been going up we've been getting better results from uh our our rankings and so forth so but what we're prompting correctly we're not just going in there and doing it half-assed we're yeah. you know I've trained our team and they're, they're using it very specifically. So they, they get a really good prompt that gives the AI direction. And then we're usually doing um, a kind of a draft, re, a, re, a revision of that first draft that we get. We don't, we never publish what just comes out when it spits out. We yeah. usually do that. We revise it. We SEO optimize it and then we publish it. So yeah. 
I, I if you're doing it that way, I've seen that it's not it's actually beneficial as an SEO as an SEO strategy. Yeah, and I think that's where a lot of people get hung up, you know. And it's always good to remind people that hey, there's it's it's very tempting to just put something in once and be like, okay, I expect it to be a finished yeah. product, <laughs> you know. Because right. that's what it kind of sounds like at first. And it's and it does give you something, but it's yeah, like you said, it rarely is is it a finished product yeah. right as it comes out. But but if you can have the patience to kind of work with it and learn how to prompt it right, how to how to provide it, maybe even with examples beforehand to, to help you help it better understand what you're looking for, then then you're gonna get better results. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. You'll you'll get really, really good results, stuff that you're surprised that you got. So yeah. And it's, and it's so helpful for the research side of things too. You know, we haven't even touched on that, but just, yeah, researching different uh, topics or if you're using, you know, say you're, you're doing Google, you know, search ads or something like that. I mean, you've got keywords, you've got, you know, and then SEO as well for meta descriptions. And I mean, it's just, it's, it's phenomenal. No, it's, it's actually, you know, what's funny is I'm starting, I've noticed, and I didn't do this almost consciously, almost did it almost subconsciously. I'm now going to chat GPT and using it as a search function. Yeah, I but know. If I I'm too. looking for the answer to something, I'm not going to Google. I'm just going to chat GPT and I just talk to it on my phone. Yeah. Say, hey, can you tell me really quick, you know, when was this football player, you know, drafted, you know, because I watch football and I'm, yeah. Um, when was this football player drafted and who, you know, what were their stats in college and freaking just gives it to you. It's yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. There's no searching. There's not like, oh, now I got to look. It's not like Google search. I look through it and I got to find something. I mean, it just gives you the answer. Yeah. And, well, and like, Google's, and you see too, Google's starting to do that too. As far oh, yeah, as yeah, they're, they're integrating Gemini into their, yeah, they've got like their little AI generated content or a response right if, after that search. And so, yeah, I know it's, that's because that, that's the trend. It's so much easier. It's super, super intuitive. Yeah. Yeah. Good. I almost cut you off, but I was just saying, let's just jump into chat. GBT. Yeah. Let's, write, let's write something really quick. Let's so, do it. Who, let's do it. Those that are watching that haven't really interacted with it. Um, I'm going to share, I'm going to share my screen. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm in my uh, chat GBT account right here. Can you see that? Yes. All right. Do you, do you have an idea of what you want me to write? Or do you want me to make a suggestion on something to write? Uh, what? Uh, yeah. You make a suggestion, whatever, whatever you feel like. All right. Um, so if we've got dental professionals listening to this, then um, let's write something that a dental practice would write. Uh, usually when I go and talk about AI at like a speaking event and I, and I do this kind of a chat GPT demo, um, I'll often get, most people will say, please write the letter to a patient who came in, you know, to get a cleaning. There was a bunch of work that needed to be done. And you got to let them know that they're out of network. Oh yeah, a full pop for for the surf. For the yeah, that, yeah, that's a kind of crappy letter to have to write. Right? right. So let's write that letter. Okay? okay, and I'll use this whack model really quick. So I'm in. So if you're not familiar with Chat GPT, this is the interface over here on the left. Are like previous conversations that you've created. I'm I'm kind of like starting a new conversation. I'm on Chat GPT 4.0. It stands for four Omni but there's four and 3.5. So I'm using the newest, most up-to-date version. Um, this costs like 30 bucks a month, I think is what they charge. Super okay. inexpensive, I, I think for what you get. Yeah. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come down here to this little message bar and I'm going to um, tell it what I need. Okay. So um, I'm going to use this WAC model and I have dictation turned on on my computer, so I can just hit, con I can hit my control button a couple times and speak to it. And that's what I'm going to do. So I don't have to type. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with who, because that's what it is. Okay. So here we okay. go. You are a dental practice office manager for the dental practice, amazing dental practice, period. That's the name of the practice, period. That's who you are. So it's not who I am. It's you're telling the AI agent who it is. It doesn't have a personality. Mm. It doesn't have, it's not conscious, right? It doesn't know yeah. anything. So you're gotta, you gotta give it some context so it understands from what position it's speaking from. So yeah. it what it is. Okay. So what is this about? So who, what, why? Um, so let me do the what. You are writing an email 
to a patient that is a patient of your dental practice, comma, the amazing dental practice, period. Okay. So what? You're going to write an email. Okay. So it's not a blog post. It's not a caption. It's an email. Um, why? The reason for you writing this email is to let your patient, Annie Thompson, know that after she came in for her cleaning last week, you found two crowns that need to be replaced. And she was under the assumption that her insurance would be able to cover a portion of that cost, period. The reason you're writing this email is to let her know that unfortunately, She's out of network and you will not, that her insurance will not be able to cover any of the cost, period. Okay. So that's what, why? Now we're going to say audience. It already kind of knows the audience. The audience is Annie, because I kind of, yeah. but I'll just say that really quick. This email will be received by Annie. So you're sending this to her directly, period. Okay. And then constraints. Now here's, the constraints are kind of, I think, one of the most important parts because it really directs how the thing's written. Okay. So um, notice how I notice the type of direction I give it here in terms of constraints. I would like for you to make this email very succinct, comma, professional, comma, positive. And I would like for you to make sure that you mention that although she is out of network, that you have a great in-office financing option through Delta Dental, period. Okay, so I've given it, I'm gonna give us some more constraints here really quick, let's see. Let her know that you are concerned about her financial situation and that although this might be a little bit of a struggle for her, you really believe that this would be a, a good thing for her to do because you know, you're concerned about her oral health and you know that she's concerned about her oral health as well, period. Okay, so notice like I'm like rambling and I'm sounding like an idiot, right? It'll it'll pick this stuff up and it'll, it'll run with it. I can even give it some kind of like a, a education level so, for example, I might say, please write the email with the graduate level language and grammar uh, structure, period. So, we'll upscale the language, right? All right, so let's yeah. just do that. Okay. Now, <clears throat> going through that and giving it that direction is so much easier than actually writing the freaking yeah. email. Yeah. You know, right. <laughs> so, there it is. All right, so let's read it. Dear Andy. Oh, it picked up Andy, not Annie. Anyway, um, I hope this finds you well. I'm writing to discuss the findings from your recent cleaning appointment at Amazing Dental Practice. Our examination revealed that two of your crowns need replacement. I understand that you were under the impression that your insurance would cover a portion of these costs. Regrettably, I must inform you that your insurance is out of network and will not be able to contribute to the expense for these procedures. However, we are committed to supporting your dental health and financial well-being. To this end, we offer an excellent in-office financing option through Dental Dental, Delta Dental, which can help make the necessary treatments more manageable. I recognize this may pose a financial challenge, but I strongly believe that proceeding with these replacements is crucial for maintaining your oral health. Your health is top, our top priority, and we want to ensure you receive the best care. Please feel free to contact us if you have any other questions, blah, 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 okay? I mean, it's like it's like 98% of what I've yeah. said, right? So think about sitting down and typing that, and, and, and you probably have to revise it a couple of times to get to the quality of that, that email versus, hey, chat GPT, I need you to write me an email, whack model really quick. Yeah. And you can ramble and you can kind of like, blah, 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 you know what I mean? So super, super simple to write this kind of stuff. Oh, that's so slick. So yeah. slick. Like you said, yeah, you might make a few tweaks here and there, and but you're you're, you're yeah. 95% of the way there. You're at the 98 yard line. You just need the last couple of yards. <laughs> yep. Exactly. That's that's awesome. Yeah. And that's a very common use case scenario. You know, I mean, whether it's, yeah, for insurance, whether it's for, you know, even just a, yeah, like some sort of follow up or to let them know about a new in house membership program or something like that. I mean, there's so many ways to take advantage of this. And then, and it could, and then people don't take advantage of it because it is like we talked about, it's just hard to write. 
And so it never gets done and they're missing out on big opportunities there. Yeah. 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 Super cool. Um, do you want, so, so we can do a couple other things. How much time do you think we've got left here? We've got five. about, yeah, about five to 10 more minutes. Let's, let's just, um, let's, I want to show you this audio thing that I yeah. found. Um, and so, then let's do the, let's do the chat thing too. If you have the chat thing. Well, let's do both if we have, yeah, if we can make that happen. I'd love to show them that just because. Okay, okay. All right. I, I could do that. All right. So give me one second. Let me share my screen again. Uh, but the audio one's fun too. So let's, yeah, it'd be fun to show them <laughs> what's possible there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Let's see. All right. Let me share my screen again. Let's go here. All right. So this is a, this is a great, so this is kind of where this stuff was going. So, so the, for those of you that are listening that heard us say large language model or open AI or whatever that be, might be, might be, the, these are the, these are the, these are describing the, the actual algorithm of what AI is. So in the guts of what an artificial intelligence system is, it's built on it's built on a model, a, a, an algorithmic model that predicts behavior. It can predict language. It can predict imagery and so forth. So it's a prediction model, which is based on how the human brain works. Yeah, that's why it sounds so human-like when you start using it. Um, so <clears throat> what's happening is OpenAI, which owns ChatGPT, Microsoft put $10 billion into OpenAI last year, literally last year, okay? So OpenAI is the company that built ChatGPT, but they give any company out there access to this algorithm, which they call a large language model, okay? And so what you can do is you can start building tools on top of it. So here's a, here's a this is a really good example of how you can take this ChatGPT kind of idea and tweak it a little bit and turn it into something that's actually really proficient within a dental practice specifically. So using the same um, same tool, it's open AI, you layer on top of that a dental tuning layer. So you tune it for dentistry and then you lay on top of that, you tune it even further to a particular practice. So what I'm what I'm going to show you here is a chat is an artificial intelligent chat agent that sounds freakishly human and knows everything about this practice. So this, this practice, this website you're looking at here is obviously not a real practice. I've created a whole, I've fabricated a whole history for it. Doctors, the insurances that they take, the weird questions that they get, everything, okay? And I've layered that on top of the chat GPT open AI tool. And now if you go to this chat widget, it uses that, it uses all of that language capability plus my fine tuning to make it super personal. So you can... You can see here that I started, I was messing with the earlier day, but I'm, I'm just going to ask a question. Um, um, so uh, let's see. I just got hit in the face with a hockey puck. And I think I broke my tooth. Okay. So now it's, it's basically the same tool that we're using in chat GPT with this fine tuning. I'm really sorry to hear about your accident. It sounds like you need to see a dentist as soon as possible. Can you tell me if you visit us before so we can help you more efficiently? Super, super, like, this is not, what's so cool about this is how many times have you gone to a website, like Verizon's website, and you're trying to get, you have a very simple question, but you're locked into that damn, like, tree. Let's yeah. Like, choose from these options, right? And you choose it, and you're like, oh, shit, it's it's not there. I got to it's not any of them. It's yeah. not, like, just give me somebody to talk to. Right. <laughs> this will get like Verizon is if I'm sure they're already developing this and they're putting, building their own fine tuned agent to handle all that stuff. So, cause you can come to these and based on that training, it'll, you can, it'll, it'll handle any kind of a question. Yeah. So I'll say, uh, I've never been here. Okay, so it knows I'm not an A. Now, this is tied into the cool thing about this is we tied it into the patient management system. Mm. So this has an open AI or excuse me, an open dental, <laughs> open dental uh, integration to mm. a patient management system. So um, 
it will update in real time all the information that I'm giving it here, and it'll update it into the patient. It'll create an account. It'll create a patient, you know, record. It'll schedule everything. So, uh, thank you, thank you for letting me know. I'm here to help you through this process to get you started because you pre pre blah 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 blah. I'm gonna give it some weird stuff here. I say, wait, before I give you my name, do you accept blah 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 insurance? Now I just. See, I just wrote in some bogus names. Yeah. Sure, I can help with that. Could you please confirm the exact name of your insurance provider, right? This will help me provide. So it it knows the insurance providers, and it obviously recognized that what I just wrote in there is just garble, garb, garble, 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 yeah. garble, whatever that word is. <laughs> right. I'll say it's uh, with Aetna. Now, I can't remember if these... Okay, so yeah, I trained this to say that Aetna was in network. So we're in, in, in network with Aetna. Let's get you scheduled for an appointment to kick here too. Wait, how much is this going to cost? And I didn't spell cost right, but it'll pick it up. Yeah. I understand that cost is an important consideration. The best way to provide an accurate cost for addressing a broken tooth is through a consultation. Our doctor will assess your needs and discuss the options that fit your budget. Would you like to schedule a consultation or get a detailed understanding of the cost involved? Or to get a detailed. Um, I'm not sure. I'm interested to see how it responds to this. I understand yeah. that's consider, especially after an unexpected incident. It is important to us that you feel comfortable and informed about your options. If you have any questions and need further information to help us make a decision, please feel free to ask. Right here, support. So it's like I gave it an ambiguous response. And so it's kind of like trying to figure out how do I respond to this, right? Yeah. Um, okay. Do you have something available on Saturdays? Let's see what it says. I don't think this practice is open on Saturdays. I'm sorry, but we're closed on Saturdays and Sundays. Our office hours are from 9 to 5, 9 to 12 on Fridays. Would you like, I mean, yeah. Uh, all right. Let's see. Yeah. Let's get scheduled. Oops. Um, anyway, I, we won't yeah. get the idea. So if I, if I give up my name and my phone number, it's going to schedule me. It's going to send a notification to the practice. It'll update the schedule, the appointment in the schedule. There's a dashboard attached to this that has all the patient information and the entire conversation is saved. So the practice can read it. It's like, it's like pretty cool. Now, the, the, yeah. This is cool. This is really cool. But the training that we've built to get this where it's at is the same training that you would that you would do in order to turn it into a phone system. Mm, okay. so all you have to do is add a voice to this. And now you've got a, a phone system that can do all the same stuff. And so, <clears throat> you know, rather than hiring, you know, some outside company with live agents that sit on their phone all night long or on the weekends yeah. or calls, which probably costs a thousand bucks a month to four or 5,000 bucks a month, depending on which company you talk to, you could do this for a few hundred bucks and it's going to do a better job than a human. I, I, yeah. I've i called most of those companies and the agents are like, Oh, another call. Uh. I know. Well, and that's, it takes the emotion out of it. Right. Which is totally. a big part of, of the challenge when you're dealing, when you're on the phone or when you're communicating in general. Yeah. And that's, what's so cool about this is it just, it automatically does that every time it doesn't, it doesn't get emotional. It doesn't get influenced by that. Plus, like you said, I mean, it's, it basically allows you to schedule um, after hours too. It's like having that you know, online calendar available almost. It doesn't show the calendar, but you can go through the chat and just be like, Hey, this is when I want to schedule. Yeah. And it can do that offline, which is so nice. Well, you know, practices miss approximately 30 to 35% of the phone calls that come in. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's 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 crazy that that even happens you know for a for a business owner that is um a dentist who's running a business to miss 30 percent. if i my company was missing 30 percent of the phone calls people would get fired immediately yeah. you know well and I mean? that's and they're always wanting wanting new more new patients and you're like well you're getting the trap you're they're coming it. in you know you're not answering the call and i'm listening yeah. to the calls the calls are horrible yeah. you know a lot of them are they're just terrible that People are overwhelmed. And I'm not saying that the skill set of the dental team members are terrible. It's just that running a dental practice is, you know, it's, you said it before, it's like you got to wear many hats and it's extremely intense. 
Mm-hmm. Sometimes, you know, there's just a lot to do. Yeah. Get tiring. And so, you know, you're tired. It's the end of the day. You just talk to a patient who was pissed off. You pick up the phone. You carry that into the conversation. You don't handle it right. You miss an opportunity. This, These types of tools, as good as they are, it'll never happen. Yeah. That'll never happen. And they'll be able to be, I mean, what I've shown you is just the first version of how, um, of the fine tuning that we've done. Mm-hmm. But this is going to get better and better and better to the point where, like, you can take payment over the phone. You, I mean, it, it'll be able to do anything, anything, wow. you know? So it's just all that stuff's accessible as long as you train it correctly and whatnot. So anyway, super cool. Super that super. is awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah. Let's jump into the, let's show us. Show okay. Us okay. Audio. So, so I found this tool a couple of weeks ago. Um, somebody did a, did a review on, 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 uh, on TikTok. So I went and checked it out and I checked out a few other ones. This one is so freaking cool. It's called suno.a or suno.com, S-U-N-O.com. You can go there and you can, you can make a whole bunch of songs. And then when you run out of credits, you have to buy more credits. And it, but it's like, you know, it's like 20 or 30 bucks a month or I don't know. It's not that yeah. much. Yeah. Every. So um, I went to, um, I went to a couple of, sp- I went out and spoke at a couple of dental societies two weeks ago and I made some songs on that. It's so fast to make these songs. <laughs> anyway, I, I went in, I went in there to the, I went to the San Fernando dental society there in, I think the meeting was in uh, Burbank. Most of the dentists are from Pasadena area, right around that way area. And I got up and I said, Hey guys, this one, let you know, I got a friend down here in Burbank who has a studio. I came down a couple of days early. We brought in some act, we brought in some, uh, some talent. And I made five versions of a San Fernando Dental Society theme song. Now, I chose the words. I wrote the lyrics. So they're not that great. But I want to show you what these look. I want to show you these these songs. And if you'd like, you can use them. Okay. <laughs> so I didn't tell them. <laughs> All right. So let me see. Make sure my. Okay. Let's see. Let me make sure that my audio is co- okay, sure, We're good. All right. So here. So here's the first one. So I wrote. I went to ChatGPT. I said, write me some lyrics for this dental society we wrote the lyrics i dropped the lyrics in and it made these songs in like two minutes so here's here's a uh, the reggae version of <laughs> the san fernando dental society uh <clears throat> theme song professionals who make your teeth all so white with the fontando dental society Professional laws who make your teeth all so white They focus on education and care They're the ones you know you can trust, they swear Bringing together dentists, community somewhere R&B In the valley where the sun shines bright There's a place where smiles take flight The San Fernando Dental Society They unite Professionals who make your teeth oh so well Country In the valley where the sun shares bright <laughs> There's a place where smiles take flight the San Fernando Dental Society They unite <laughs> So <laughs> let's do a song. Let's, let's do a theme song. Mac, Mark Thackeray theme song. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Let's do it. All right. Gonna create here. Um, <clears throat> let's do. Let's use ChatGPT to do this. This is fun. Okay. Right, watch this. So I come here to ChatGPT. I say, "You're an artist, comma a musician, and you need to write a description to train another AI agent to write some lyrics for a." theme song period the theme song that you're going to be writing for is a dental marketing company uh owned by mark thackeray <laughs> did get that put factory in there dude <laughs> mark Tha- i don't know if i spelled that right e-r-y right okay. close enough yep 
Mark has been in the industry for years, super professional, and has a high-end agency level, highly creative dental marketing company, period. He is efficient and proficient with website design, SEO, reputation management, social media, copywriting, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, period. He loves his clients and they love him, period. Okay. So, so I'm giving this AI direction to write a description for another AI. So let's see what it gives me. So I'm going to grab this. All right. Oh, it's oh, that's weird. Okay, now I'll just grab this background here. Uh, I'm just going to grab this, and then I'm going to go into Suno, and I'm going to drop that into the description. Oh, okay. And it may not, over the years, build a repel agency excels in various, see, it only gives me 200 characters. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to go reputable agency. Okay. All right. So let me go create. Now what it's going to do, it's going to create two versions here and it takes like 30 seconds or whatnot. Yeah. Then we can go in and we can like tweak it. Let's see what it does. Pop electronic. Oh, oh okay. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I didn't do the custom thing. Okay. There's a little custom tab right here. Oh, see cool. That? Yeah. yeah. I didn't click that. So, um, well, we... I think chat was spitting out some lyrics too at the bottom of. I, oh, okay. So, okay. I did it wrong, that first version. So, they, we got these two here. It's pop electronic. We'll listen to them. But uh, if you do the custom version, which is the paid version, you can actually put more characters in. So, I put them all in. Oh, okay. Say, um, I want, um, let's see, let's do reggae. Yeah. Reggae. Title, we'll call it Mark Thackeray. You don't have an A there. Mark Thackeray. Yeah. Theme song. I don't know if I spelled your name right, dude, but there it is. No worries. Okay. So now it's going to give me two <laughs> reggae versions. Now I'm going to go back here and I'm going to change this and I'm going to say, what, what do you want, dude? <laughs> Let's do. Uh... Let's do, we could do disco. Yeah. Disco. Oh, that's cool. Let's do disco. <laughs> uh, and I'll call this disco. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's listen to this and let's go. This is the reggae version. Okay. Mark Dockery is a seasoned professional in the dental marketing industry. Renowned for his high level creativity and efficiency. <laughs> Over the years, he has built a wait, wait, I did it wrong. I did it wrong. It did. It didn't generate the lyrics. Well, it's go, actually. It's yeah, actually. Go back to chat. What I, I wrote. Think it was, I think the chat. Go back to chat. I think it was doing it at the end. Oh, you saying here? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, here okay, we go. Okay. Okay. But I. I've tried it this way. I've tried to take these. Oh. And drop them in, and it doesn't work really well. So what oh, I gotcha. What I forgot to do was I forgot to hit generate lyrics. Oh, okay. Okay. So I got to generate the lyrics. <laughs> it was just reading what I gave it. <laughs> Let's do this again. We're gonna we're gonna get rid of we're gonna get rid of these right here. Let's, let's delete them out of here. Give me one second. Move to trash. Move to trash. Okay, you guys have only done this one time, and so I'm like hitting every roadblock. On <laughs> this work. No, this is good because this is probably what I'll do. I'm get in there. <laughs> all right. Okay. All right. So now we hit custom. We dropped in the description. It wrote the lyrics because I said generate lyrics right there. Oh, there they are. Or it's disco, uh, Thackeray Dental Groove. I'll say <laughs> disco. All right, here we go. Create. And then I'm going to do a reggae one. Let me do reggae. Yeah. Reggae. Let me change the title so you know it's reggae. Okay. Create. <laughs> All right, here we go. So we'll get a reggae one. We'll get a disco one. All right, here we go. All right, you ready? Yeah. Be prepared to be wowed, dude. <laughs> I love it already. <laughs> Dude, I have to use it. So good. It's so freaking good, dude. So good. I just need a good picture of me with an afro and some cheese or something.
what metal is going to give us so here we go dude this would be a good place to end <laughs> dude, i know what i'm going to be doing for the next good. couple hours <laughs> disco ones are so freaking good dude, dude i know holy dude. cow those oh. are so good i have never done a disco one well i'm gonna um, have to make some for for like my wife or my kids oh just... totally. <laughs> All right. Here, here's metal let's see what we got This could get this. Oh, you know. yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Takes me back. <laughs> oh, here's, the, here's the next one. One more. Whatever you do, don't oh. use those ever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I have to do one more, one more, and then we're done. I promise. <laughs> we got to do opera. We got to see what opera does. Oh, opera. Yeah. Let's, Here we let's go. See what this right. Here we go. Mark Thackeray, the pro in dental marketing, you know, creativity high and low. Watch this. pretty good, dude. I, I thought it would be. Sign on fire. What? Dude, that's not opera. That's kind of like, yeah, new age or something, but. Mark Dockery, the pro in dental marketing. That's, that's not opera. I don't want that. Do, I want uh, do, do, I saw a grunge one. Do a, let's oh, do a grunge. little Nirvana throwback. Got it. Got it. Got it. Um, oh, I like grunge. <laughs> that's, that's my, that was my time. <laughs> That was a good time. Oh man, it was a fun time. It was a fun time. Oh geez, Those cell dude. phones ruined every child in America. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ruined, <laughs> made everybody get body dysmorphia and uh, oh man, for sure, isolate themselves. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. All right, here we go. Grunge. <clears throat> yeah. Here we go. One. <laughs> What's going on here? Wait. Oh, creativity high and low. Watch his agency glow. Web is on a fire. Says CEO. That was pretty good, dude. Yeah, let me go with that one. Look at him. Mark Zuckerberg. Oh, oh. oh. Dude, is that not the coolest thing? Anyway, I told that you, is amazing. It's freaking crazy. So I, so I, so I played those songs, and everybody's like rocking out in the room. And I'm like, yeah. I'm like, I'm like, I'm just kidding. I didn't have a friend down here in Burbank that made this music. I just did it with AI, and everybody was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> like, it's and like, it took me like two what, minutes. <laughs> what are you talking about? What? What? What is this? They had no idea what I was talking about. Oh man. 
anyway. but that's what's so crazy about what the, this whole AI industry is just it's just going so fast like you're saying so fast man oh my gosh so fun anyway yeah. I would use that tool now you can make theme songs for your clients man dude for sure for <laughs> sure dude you take those clips and you can put them on social media you know TikToks and oh and all well yeah I mean you think of all the applications you could do you could do an office theme song or you could just do like I know I mean I'm TikTok's big right now and all the videos and, and the reels and stuff like that. But you could do, you know, if it's Valentine's Day or if it's a holiday, you know, you just create some oh, custom totally. lyrics. You do it like a little dance to it. Oh, man, that's easy. That's easy stuff. You know, yeah, and that, you people it. love it. Oh, yeah. You could write the lyrics using ChatGPT for um, or anyway, this. You could say, make me a, valent uh, a Valentine's romance song, you know, with you know for about the dentist you know loving to the yeah. dental i don't know whatever right and you it would it would give you something probably yeah used. well and i've seen i've seen this on instagram where they're they're pitching a you know a romantic song for your anniversary you know and it's like oh yeah yeah yeah, like yeah, yeah 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 you know but i'm guaranteed they just come in here you know they write the lyrics and chat <laughs> right. throw it in here and it takes them a good 30 seconds to make yeah. <laughs> and it sounds awesome though like it's such a cool idea you know right yeah oh, that's awesome but thanks for inviting me on, dude. I really you appreciate bet. It. We'll have to have you back. Um, appreciate you taking the time, sharing your ex your experience and expertise. And thanks for the walkthrough too. I think that's going to be super helpful for people that are just, you know, they've heard about it. They want to dip their toe. They're not sure how to go about it. So that's a great way to kind of just get started. Um, and then, yeah, sky's the limit, really. Just to go out and experiment and see what what else you can come up with. And and what, that's the cool thing too. Once you get started with this, new ideas, new applications yeah you know, you can't think about the stuff you you, you got to get play with it a little bit and then i'm like oh well, maybe we could do this or that or yeah it's, yeah it's be we'll, we'll have to we'll have to make an announcement too once that that chat agent goes live that the phone agent or oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. i think that is super cool because i know i know most of the team members the most of the practice i work no one really likes to answer the phone <laughs> so if they could outsource that to a better agent that would be even better yeah i uh i'll definitely let you, let you know man Okay. Well, if people want to get in touch with you, Adrian, what's the best way to do that? What, uh, how should they reach out? They can just go to mysocialpractice.com and just call the number there. Okay. Uh, my, my email, if you want to shoot me an email, it's Adrian, A-D-R-I-A-N, like yo, Adrian from Rocky, mm -hmm. uh, Adrian at mysocialpractice.com. You can shoot me an email, your okay. questions or whatnot. I Sweet. It. Yeah. I'll post that up in the show notes, but Adrian, thanks again, man. This has been a blast. Oh. Thank you. I really appreciate the invite. It's nice to nice to get to know you better. Yeah, you bet.